we also have total personality development. Um, a, a curriculum can change um, based, I mean, in concern to total personality development of the children or the students because um, they will um, try to address the concern, the development of the organized pattern of attitude and behavior. Kasi yung uh, curriculum, maaari siya mag-change based on the students mismo. So, ayan siya. So, there are five types of curriculum, uh, namely, traditional, thematic, program, classical, and technological. Now, for your activity, on a one-hole yellow pad, define the five types of curriculum and answer the question, what is the type of curriculum that our school uses before before the pandemic and what are we using right now? And keep it on your portfolio. Okay, so here's the continuation. What are the characteristics of a good curriculum? Number one, the curriculum is continuously evolving. So ito yung sinasabi ko kayo, since it evolves, it reforms, it changes, it adapts. So it evolved, it evolved from one period to another to the present kasi nag adjust For a curriculum to be effective, it must have continuous monitoring and evaluation. And dyan papasok yung isang topic natin na assessment. So, assessing the strengths and weaknesses. So, because there is a continuous monitoring and evaluation, so may evaluate yung strengths and weaknesses ng mga studyante. So, for that concern to be addressed, maaring mag-change ang curriculum para ma-address din yung needs para needs ng mga students para um, ma-aid yung weaknesses nila. And also, curriculum must adapt its educational activities and services to meet the needs of a modern and dynamic community. So, di ba, pati ang community involved as long as um, there is a needs na kailangan i-meet. So, number two, the curriculum is based on the needs of the people. So, yun yung sinasabi ko kanina. It is well emphasized na. So, a good curriculum reflects the needs of the individual and the society as a whole. Society reflecting the community. Ganun pa rin yun. The curriculum is in proper shape in order to meet the challenges of times and make education more responsive to the clientele it serves. So, yung sinasabi na proper shape in order to meet the challenges of times, dito papasok yung perennialism yung um, maaari ang curriculum or philosophy na kung saan maaaring gan- dahil sa sturdiness, dahil sa good quality kahit papabago-bago yung panahon pwede pa rin siyang gamitin there might be a little to none na mga changes pero because of its quality pwede siyang gamitin ng paulit-ulit and yun and sabi dito, make education more responsive to the clientele it serves. Response to the clientele, sino yung mga client? Mga students. So, the curriculum must meet the needs of the people or yung mga students. So, yun, so yun, yun, yun. Number three, the curriculum is democratically conceived. A good curriculum is developed through the efforts of a group of individuals from different sectors in the society who are knowledgeable about the interests, needs, and resources of the learner and the society as a whole. The curriculum is the product of many minds and energies. So, yun yun, from the word democratically conceived. Um, democratic, there is, um, I mean, it is tantamount to the word freedom, the bar free. Tulad natin, di ba, from the democratic country. So, it is free. Um, so, there is a free will kung saan it can be changed, ang uh, curriculum, it can be changed, it can be um, used, it can be recycled, pwede gamitin yung old curriculum, pwede magkaroon ng new curriculum, pwede rin magkaroon ng new curriculum, pero hindi lang siya um, ginagawa ng isa, kasi maaaring, mag, uh, maaaring mag-contribute yung iba as they, as nakasaad dito, as stated here, um, the curriculum is the product of many minds and energies. So, yun yun. Number four, the curriculum is the result of a long-term effort. So, dito pala from the word long-term effort, so, ibig sabi, hindi minamadali yung curriculum. A good curriculum is a product of long and tedious process. Sabi ko kanina, 
It takes a long period of time in the planning, management, evaluation, and development of a good curriculum. It should be made carefully, slowly, but surely. Number five, the curriculum is a complex of details. Really, it is really complex. A good curriculum provides the proper instructional equipment and meeting places that are often most conducive to learning. So, ang curriculum hindi lang siya uh, concerning about the students mismo, pati kasi nga, di ba, pati sa environment. Um, curriculum must also address the environmental concerns, especially the facilities, the vicinity, and pati yung kung gaano ka conducive ang area para sa learning ng mga students. It includes the student-teacher relationship. So, a good environment, di ba, is a harmonious relationship between teacher and the student. Um, guidance and counseling program, health services, school and community projects, library and laboratories, and other school-related work experiences. So, ang scope ng curriculum, hindi lang basta-basta na concerning about the student lang, concern din niya pati yung whole school. I mean, um, kung kaya mag-reform ng curriculum based on the student needs, kaya din mag-reform ng curriculum based on the needs of the school. So, yun siya. Number six, the curriculum provides for the logical sequence of subject matter. Learning is developmental. So, para siyang spiral, you will be learning one, two, and three. You will learn first one, and then you'll proceed to two, and then you'll proceed to three, from simple to complex. Classes and activities should be planned. Kaya nga, kung sa teacher pa, mayroong lesson plan. A good curriculum provides continuity of experiences. Continuous siya. So, from one, proceed ka sa two, proceed ka sa three, proceed ka sa four. Um, from, simple to basic, uh, from simple to basic, from simple to complex. Pero pagdating sa point na complex, with your learning, that complex will become simple. So, you will soar more and you will explore more you will explore more to find the more complex matters. So, yun. Number seven, the curriculum complements and cooperates with other programs of the community. The curriculum is responsive to the needs of the community. The school offers its assistance in the improvement and the reali real and <laughs> realization of ongoing programs of the community. There is cooperative effort between the school and the community towards greater productivity. Ang thought lang dito is ang curriculum na nasa school, pwede rin um, isabay yung activities outside the school, haba sa barangay or sa community. Halimbawa, sa curriculum, maaari kang maglagay doon ng tree planting para sa care of the environment and also to develop social, I um, mean, the concern the students uh, environment and also helping the community then para maging yung literal na purpose ng trees maging malamig yun, the oxygen so science number seven the curriculum has educational quality dapat quality over quantity always again and then uh, a good educational quality um, is a product of a good curriculum so Quality education comes through the situation of the individual's intellectual and creative capacities for social welfare and development. The curriculum helps the learner to become the best that he can possibly be. The curriculum support system is secured to augment existing sources for its efficient and effective implementation. So, to wrap that up, curriculum helps the student to become globally competitive holistically. And yun, number nine, the curriculum has administrative flexibility to which a good curriculum must be ready to incorporate changes whenever necessary. Whenever necessary, kung kailan kinakailangan. The curriculum is open to revision and development to meet the demands of globalization and the digital age. So yun, pero yun kanina, curriculum as a changing concept. So, that's it. That's the end of class. So, I'll see you. Goodbye.